AMC stock has been one of the craziest roller coasters in the last few years. Currently, they are down about 75% year to date with a market cap of only $1.32 billion. Now, in spite of that, the news for them financially as a business is actually not terrible as of today. They've recently raised $325 million from share issuance. Now, this did substantially dilute existing shareholders. However, the alternative to raising these funds was a very likely bankruptcy in the not-too-distant future. So, if you hold shares of AMC, even if you're thinking about doing some kind of move on the technicals or something, if they announce that they're going bankrupt, you're probably not going to see much of a jump in price at that point. So while the dilution may not have been good because it obviously puts selling pressure out there, it did buy them the thing that they were most lacking, which is time. Now, this isn't to say that it's all good news for AMC. They still have a lot of issues to work out. But if you're somebody that perhaps is holding on to it, hoping for an eventual short squeeze at some point, you probably don't want them to go bankrupt in the meanwhile. Now, short interest still looks to be around 15% uh, based on the last information I was able to get uh, at the time of making this video from Fintel with over 23 million shares sold short. Financially, AMC actually, in terms of the last quarter ended in June, had one of the best quarters in recent memory. Uh, I think actually that's the highest amount of revenue they've pulled in since before the pandemic. 2019, it looks like, is the last time they had a quarter with that much revenue. And weirdly, I'm seeing positive EPS, 10 cents per share. So this could be a sign that they're reaching that equilibrium where they can actually stay afloat on their own two feet and maybe don't need to dilute shareholders anymore. That would be good, especially if you're waiting for some kind of event to actually happen, such as a short squeeze. Now, personally, I wouldn't hold a company just hoping for a short squeeze to happen again, when squeezes have already happened on this company in the past. I think it's one of those things where you keep hoping that this same thing will keep happening over and over again, and it's really not all that likely to happen. But I digress. The other issue facing them is, of course, the balance sheet. Now, thanks to that uh, share issuance, they have a lot more cash today than would be reflected on here. Um, but the problem is they've got a massive amount of debt, $9.5 billion worth. Um, in terms of shareholders' equity, they're in the hole, so their liabilities outweigh their assets by $2.5 billion, uh, which is twice their market cap currently. So obviously, this is um, not a great position to be in. However, if they're bringing in enough revenue that they can service that debt, they could potentially have at least small positive earnings per share on a pretty consistent basis going forward. I mean, you look at how their gross margins and operating margins are now, compared to the last few quarters. And it seems like it's pretty serviceable, to be honest. Like 17, 18% gross margin with high single digit operating margin. Pretty similar to 
what they used to do back before the pandemic. In fact, that operating margin is better than a lot of these pre-pandemic quarters. So I think all in all, AMC may just survive as a business, as a going concern going forward. But at the same time, I don't think it's the kind of company that I would buy hoping to get a return through value alone. I don't think that this business is going to have a very consistent growth trajectory for the bottom line. I don't see them being able to return value consistently to shareholders through dividends, buybacks, or anything like that, or through retained earnings and growing the business. But that's just my opinion with regards to the business side of AMC. But overall, it seems like they've avoided the absolute worst outcome, which is bankruptcy. And they may be rounding the corner in a sense. And so those of you who are holding out for a squeeze, well, I mean, at least you've got time now, I guess, right? So let me know in the comments below if you've ever owned any AMC. Did you make any money on it? Do you hold it today? Are you still holding out for that squeeze? Do you do squeeze plays, technical plays, trading? Hit me up in the comments below. Join the Discord, link in the description. Like and subscribe, do all that jazz for me. It really helps out the channel. And um, if you wouldn't touch AMC with a 10-foot pole, let me know. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good one.